Hello. I'm a digital artist. My name is Britt, or Sensei, and I've been using Procreate for over a year. A software that's on the iPad Pro. Uh, this is not an advertisement. I just like the program. And I want to show you how my work has changed and moved throughout this past year and a half on the software. So without further ado, here are five of my works of art through Procreate. I hope y'all like it. Exhibit A, Kylo Ren. The first drawing I did in Procreate. Now, before we get into talking about this Kylo Ren drawing, I have to preface it by saying, this is a study of a study. The top right piece on your screen is Kylo Ren fan art by Santiago Lozano. And the bottom right is by, uh, is hand drawn by Jake Parker. So, this is a study of a study of a study type thing, fan art. And I just wanted to test my skills and kind of see how well that I can translate uh, from picture to digital image. This is the first time I'd really gotten my hands on a drawing tablet that was good. I'd had a cheap knockoff brand tablet before and it didn't quite get the job done for me. It felt very laggy and unresponsive. So this was the first time I was really drawing digitally and I wanted to test my skills with color and just kind of see what I could do. Uh, I like Jake Parker's art. I didn't know about the Santa Santiago art. I just saw them both on Pinterest and was like, I could draw both of those guys, sure. And from that, I got a semi-finished piece of Kylo Ren, which was pretty fun to do. <laughs> Exhibit B, the street drawing or something. This next drawing that I worked on was about three to four months after the Kylo Ren drawing. Uh, I started to get a better understanding of what brushes I liked. I uh, figured out, you know, how perspective tools worked and wanted to make something that looked similar to a comic book. I first started with, you know, the building was on the right, the building's on the left, just kind of working on, you know, the direction of all the bricks, directions of the windows, the direction of, you know, whether I'm gonna have uh, lines running this way or that way, you know, not to get anything super mixed up. It really came down to, uh, I don't know, just figuring out the vibe of the drawing. A lot of the moments that I spent really picking what I wanted were because of inspiration, references, that kind of thing. After about three to four hours of working on this piece, I was finally finished. I can definitely say that it was very fun to work on. I probably could have done better in hindsight looking at some line work and some details, but overall I'm pleased with it. And I definitely recommend trying out a perspective tool in whatever program you use. It helps out a ton. Watch this. Exhibit C, or piece number three, is from a cursed period of time. A time when I played a video game called League of Legends. Why I played this game? No idea. I think in part I wanted to work for Riot Games and do concept art, uh, which still would be awesome, but I didn't quite understand the hype behind League of Legends, so I tried it. I still don't understand, but I did enjoy some of the characters from the game and the art behind it, so I wanted to make a skin for one of the characters. I took Pike, a sunken pirate who has resurrected from the depths and has a cool knife and sword or whatnot and cool voice lines, so I thought it was fitting to make some art for him. And here is my rendition.
Throughout this painting, uh, I tried a lot of different techniques. I did line work, flat colors, tried just painting with shapes, turning off the line work, you know, just working through the process that I knew possible. At this point, I pulled out a reference. I realized I couldn't do this with just me guessing colors and working things out, so I looked at other infernal skins from the game and it actually helped out a ton. It's a little bit of cheating, maybe to take a, a few colors from a, another piece of art, but I needed the help. Uh, and I'm very happy with how it turned out uh, for just a little piece of fan art. Exhibit four, the worm god of vision. The fourth drawing of this video was done on stream at twitch.tv slash senseifruit. It's where we do a lot of drawings, a lot of talking, a, little, a lot of chit-chatting. Oh, if I sail over that keg, it's not gonna blow up, right? Yes, it will. <sighs> don't sail over the keg. Ah, uh, dude! Please don't sail over the keg. You said draw feet? Uh, I have a good community, and uh, feel free to stop by. For the dragon drawing, I really wanted to tap into a part of my childhood. Uh, something about drawing dragons, worms, whatever you want to call them, uh, really spoke to me as a kid. You know, it was just something cool to draw. Uh, and for this, I wanted to be a little more imaginative. Focus more on the line work, focus more on the color. Bring in some pops of blue and pink and orange. I really just try and be more creative. I think when I draw live, I sometimes feel more motivated. Something about drawing in front of people uh, just pushes me to uh, more limits. Uh, and sometimes makes a really good piece of art. Uh, this is one of my favorites, but it's not the last of the video. The fifth and final drawing, Samus from the game Super Metroid. I played it a lot. It was really fun. I highly recommend it. And we drew it on stream. It's one of the last drawings that I've really completed. Uh, maybe not one of my best works of art, but it is one of my favorites. I like making fan art and I'll probably do more along the way. So here's the fifth and final drawing. I hope you all enjoy. If you'd like to see more of my Procreate drawings, come to my Twitch. That's where we'll be most of the time, doodling and whatnot. I also have linked my Twitter, as well as everyone who contributed to the music in this video. Uh, these guys are awesome, so make sure you definitely go give them a subscribe or a look. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.